All right, a chef buck here, and today we're cooking us up a turkey casserole. You know, I should call this a turkey vegetable casserole because it's got more vegetables in it than turkey. And you don't even have to use turkey, use chicken, whatever kind of cooked bird you want, you know. But we're starting off with a raw bird. You know, we're going to use turkey thighs. I mean, camera girl, we love the dark meat, so we usually use chicken thighs. Uh, but we got some, some turkey thighs because they're huge. We're going to season up before we cook them, you know, we're going to. Throw a little bit of thyme on here, some sage, some garlic powder. But you know, be creative. Rub whatever kind of uh, spices and seasonings in here you like. We're going to leave the skin on while they cook. Put them in a little bit of a flat pan with a little bit of water. And then we're just going to throw them in the oven at 375 degrees. And you know, let them cook away there for about an hour. You know, just forget about it. And then we're going to be prepping up our other vegetables. So while these things were cooking, that's what we were doing. You know, we were chopping and dicing and slicing and all that all that jazz but now that the turkey's out we're gonna let them cool down and while it cools down we're gonna make our sauce for our casserole so on low heat you know get your butter and start to melt that in there and then we're gonna add some all-purpose flour but we're just gonna add it a little bit at a time you know because you want it to be smooth you want it to be super smooth you know like your dream date you know so don't just don't just throw it all in there in one big clump you know working in there a bit at a time you know, add about a, a pinch of salt, you know, like a, a quarter a teaspoon or something like that. And just keep mixing away. And what it's going to turn into is this kind of like nice, smooth consistency. And that's what you're looking for. So now we're ready to add our milk into the, uh, the pot. And you want to do it the same way, you know, just a little bit at a time, you know, so that so that it's it's mixed evenly and smooth. And this will pay off in the end. You know, for me, this is the hardest part of anything is, you know, being patient, mixing up things up, you know, into a nice consistency. But it makes all the difference. So once you got it mixed up, we'll go ahead and we'll raise the temperature, you know, up to a medium high. And then we're going to pour in our chicken broth. And we're going to stir that around and let that heat up gently. Don't bring it to a bubble. You know, you don't want it to boil. You don't want it to simmer. Just heat it up, then cover it, get it off the heat, set it aside. And now we're ready to get back to our turkey, which is cooled down enough to where we can fool with it. You know, we're going to go ahead and we're going to remove the skin and bone, you know, cut it up, chop it up into some nice bite-sized pieces, then spread it all along the bottom of the, the casserole pot, you know, whatever pot you're going to use, you know, spread it out there. And now we'll take our sauce, our casserole white sauce, and we'll just pour that, you know, all over the turkey. We're not going to mix it up or anything. We're just going to cover it up and then we're going to throw our vegetables on top of that. And man, look at that broccoli. Does that look like a nightmare? You know, if you don't like broccoli, use cauliflower. If you don't like cauliflower, use uh, squash. You know, use whatever you like. You know, we were using broccoli, a little bit of red onion, some garlic. We had a old zucchini we're throwing in there. We're using some artichoke. But use whatever kind of vegetables you like. You know, if you want to use some celery, some carrots, you know, just whatever trips you trigger. But once your vegetables are spread out, we can work on the topping for this casserole. So in a mixing bowl, you want to add your buttermilk, some melted butter, and a little bit of self-rising flour, and black pepper to taste, and then we'll get that all nice and mixed up, you know, and we, what we want it to be is kind of like a thick pancake batter, because what we're going to do is we're, we're going to spread it on top of all of these vegetables, and you know what's key is getting it spread out nice and evenly, because you know, you don't want one side of it, you know, you don't want a huge depression, you know, in your casserole where you're going to have a big boatload of uh, dough sitting in there so get it spread out nice and evenly it's almost like a cake you know imagine this is like valentine's day and your sweetheart's cake except it's got a a bunch of vegetables in there man doesn't that sound like a lousy valentine's day but this ain't valentine's day this is dinner time you know so we're gonna go ahead and slide it in the oven at 425 degrees for 35 minutes you know so after that time, is it ready? No, it ain't ready. You know, pull it out and look at that. Does that look ready? No, it's not brown enough on the top. So it's pretty much cooked. You know, you could eat it, but we want it to look a little better than that. So we're going to slide it back in the oven and we're going to let it cook for about 10 more minutes. But we don't want it to bake. We're going to put it on broil and we're going to let it bubble away and cook the top of that till it's nice and golden brown. And I don't know how long it's going to take. You know, you've got to watch it. You know, look at all the work you've done, you know, all that chopping, all that cooking, you know, all that jazz. And now what are you going to do? You're going to walk away and let it burn? No, you're going to stand there and you're going to watch it. You're going to watch it like a hawk because it's only going to take a second for this thing to cook too much and burn. So you just watch it. You just eyeball that casserole. You know, don't look at me. Look at the casserole. 
you eyeball it. And then, you know, when it gets to the brown consistency you want, then you pull it out. Look how delicious that looks, you know, but it's super hot right now. It's like lethal. It's like molten lava. So let it rest, you know, see it bubbling away there. Give it about 10 to 15 minutes of alone time, you know, put it in timeout. And then you can go back to it. Then you can dig in. Now it's dinner time. Man, I love this kind of dish every now and then. You know, it's just comfort food. A nice country casserole. Nothing fancy pants. It's just good cooking. Is it the healthiest thing you can eat? No. You know, it's got all that butter in there and white flour and all that jazz. But it's just nice, wholesome, stick to your ribs, down home cooking. Give it a try. Let me know what you think. And bon appetit, man.